My name is Michael Afton. I, I've been in the night guard here for about a week, and I, f I found I, something bad is happening here, and I'm pretty sure the people behind the scenes are, are trying to cover up exactly what happened. They're alive, okay? They're alive, and they're after me, just like they were with Jonathan. I, I Look, this is all real, okay? I, I don't know what else to do then. <laughs> trial is projected to take place later this September. In local news, more trouble for Fazbear Entertainment. Nine days ago, the company's sole remaining franchise, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, was burglarized during the early hours of morning. Now, the nightly security guard hired to ward off further break-ins has gone missing. Our reporter on the scene has more information on the story. Don, what can you tell us? Thank you, Stacy. I am standing in front of the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza place, where the missing youth was last seen coming into work this past Thursday. The young man's name is Jonathan Scott, and his family asks that you dial the number on screen if you have any possible information on his whereabouts. Though the situation is still unfolding, if you know anything about Fazbear Entertainment, you'd know that this is far from their first controversy. Created by two entrepreneurial friends with a love for animatronic engineering, Henry Emily and William Afton opened the company's first franchise location, Fred Bear's Family Diner, in the late 1970s. Quickly finding success, they opened a second location under the name Freddy Fazbear's Pizza by the decade's end. Though profits and attendance were high, it wouldn't take long for a disaster to strike at both locations. In October of 1982, five young children went missing at the Freddy's location under suspicious circumstances. Though employees of the establishment were questioned, and William Afton was even considered a suspect at one time, the parent company nor Afton were ever found liable for any wrongdoing, and the franchise was shut down after public outcry. In March of 1983, tragedy struck at Fred Bear's family diner when a robotic malfunction caused one of the beloved animatronic characters to bite down on the head of Evan Afton, youngest son of the co-founder, causing fatal damage. He was only nine years old. This led the company to close the location and distance themselves from Afton, who willingly stepped away from Fazbear Entertainment, disgraced by his own creation. The company would open a new Freddy's location in 1984, but it wasn't long until tragedy would rear its ugly head once again. In May of 1986, Charlotte Emily, daughter of the remaining co-founder, would also end up losing her life due to irresponsible restaurant security. She was only seven. Eleven months later, within the span of only a few days, Five more children would go missing, and another fatal animatronic malfunction would occur at the new Fazbear location, this time killing an employee. This led to yet another closure by the parent company, and a year-long investigation by local police. It's truly a tragedy. There's no better word for it. Uh, I, I just can't believe that it's happened. Fazbear Entertainment would open the sole remaining Freddy's franchise using recycled and revamped animatronic characters from their older locations. Though Freddy's has avoided dilemma from almost five years now, that came to an abrupt end just over one week ago with the apparent burglary. If we're to believe the images captured from a nearby business's security camera, at approximately 4.02 a.m. the infiltrator broke in while wearing what looks to be the suit of one of the mascot characters. How this costume could have been acquired before the break-in still has authorities baffled, but investigations regarding the burglary have been temporarily put on hold as local police shift their focus onto finding the missing Jonathan Scott. Public opinion has seemed to largely turn against Fazbear Entertainment in the past few years, and the recent break-in and subsequent disappearance of the young night guard seem to be the final nails in the coffin for the dying company. These characters will live on. In the hearts of kids, these characters will live on. And with attendance at an all-time low, the company is projected to close its doors by year's end. Though our news team reached out to William Afton, he declined to make any comments regarding the company's situation at this time. Stacy. Thank you, Don. We can't let this keep happening. We're going out of business soon, it's obvious. The writing's been on the wall for a while, and, well, I was just hoping that we'd be going out a little bit more gracefully. Are you sure you're up for the task, son? With all the media attention and everything that's going on out there, I wouldn't blame you if you were, if you're a little bit leery about taking on this task. Yeah. I, I sure can. I just want to help out in any way I can. I appreciate that, kid. You seem like you got a lot of spunk. I like that. But, uh, just one more question. Yeah, of course. Why are you so gung-ho about this? 
I've interviewed plenty of applications for the same position. For most of them, it's uh, just another job. But for you, there's something about you, something in your eyes. There's a lot of other places like us out there. Hell, Funky Cheese even pays better than us. So what exactly do you want out of working here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza? That's a loaded question. Is it? I think it's a fair one. No, no, I'm not saying it isn't. It's just me and my brother used to come to the old restaurants when we were kids, and he loved it. Uh, I guess that's just what kind of always stuck with me. Uh, so I just don't want you guys to go out with a whimper. That's nice. I, I'm glad that you have good memories with the company. I wasn't sure that people still did. Yeah. Well, if you're as serious as you say you are, do you want to start tomorrow? Absolutely. Good stuff. What size shirt do you wear? Uh, medium. Your shift will be from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., Monday through Friday. Be sure to show up a half hour early tomorrow night so that the day guard can fill you in with all your responsibilities. It's nothing too crazy, pretty much uh, the basic stuff you would expect from a job like this. It's nice to have you part of the team. Pleasure's all mine, sir. Uh, call me Henry. Do you prefer Mike or Michael? Uh, Mike is fine. Well, Mr. Mike Schmidt, I thank you. And, well, you have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you tomorrow. It's your first shift. Oh, and, uh, hey, um, those nighttime employees that come in during daytime hours, they get free pizza. My dinner's gonna get cold now. I am so sick of you goddamn Jehovah's Witnesses. Michael. Hey, Dad. It's been a while. What do you want? Uh, have you heard what's happened at the restaurant lately? I know what you're talking about. God damn it, I'm not stupid. What, what does this have to do with me? I, I got a job there. I start tomorrow. Why would you want to do that? I... Could I come in? You could stay right there. Like I said, my dinner's getting cold. What does this have to do with me? Dad, I... You know that I feel bad about what happened. You know that. I've been thinking about it every single day for the past ten years. And... I, I, I just want to help. I... I'm gonna go try to find the person who went missing. That's so noble of you, Michael. But please, key me in. What does this have to do with me? I, I don't know. I guess I just thought I should let you know. And maybe... Maybe ask if you have any advice. Advice? That's what you're wasting my time with? Advice for your new job? For a company that I want nothing to do with? Right. Okay. Good night, Michael. Wait, Dad. I... I just want to try to make things right. How did you even get a job there? They want nothing to do with our family. I use my middle name. Right. Smart move. Night, Mike.
Hello? Hello? Uh, is anyone here? I'm so sorry, are you okay? It's all good, dude. I love being rudely awoken when I'm on the clock getting paid to do nothing. Oh, I was just told to come in here and you show me the ropes. Oh, you're the new guy. Uh, right. yeah, I'm Mike. I don't care. You're making a wonderful positive first impression. Thanks. You're denser than a black hole. Uh, what? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Let me show you the ropes. How was I supposed to get into the office if you weren't awake. These doors are huge. That's the thing, you could These doors are super reinforced metal. Nothing and no one can get in while these doors are down. So, why are they so super reinforced? I don't know, does it matter? I don't know, does it? I don't know, but it's not like you're gonna be using them anyway. But you just had both of them down. Yeah, well, that's okay for me to do. What do you mean? What? They didn't even tell you about the power? I have no idea what you're talking about. <sighs> okay then. Whoever broke in was able to cut the power from the main building between the hours of 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. That's how they were able to get past our security system in the first place. So, since our parent company is so close to going out of business and they can't afford to fix the main power, the building runs on a backup auxiliary generator at night. But this generator only has so much juice in it, and since these doors are spring-locked, it takes way more electricity to keep them down than to keep them up. So, you'll be keeping them up as much as possible. Don't know why you need to use them anyway. I use them to drown out the customers. All we have is birthday parties nowadays. You can monitor your power by looking at that gauge up there. It should give you a rough idea of how much of the generator's power you've already used. If you manage things well during the night, you shouldn't have anything to worry about. That monitor is for all the cameras inside the building. Pretty self-explanatory. They're always on and they'll always suck up your power, so nothing you can do about that. This computer is pretty much worthless, but hey, it's here if you need it. And then I've never use that landline, but corporate says that it can only receive calls, so you can't really make them. So, what's the point of it even being there? You're asking the wrong person. Liability reasons? Yeah. This is the punch clock. Your card should be in there somewhere. Probably. Alright then. The bathrooms are down that hallway, the kitchen's through that hallway, and the door next to the stage is the backstage parts of the maintenance room. That was where we kept all of our backup parts to fix the animatronics. Was? The robber sort of cleaned that shit out, so it's pretty empty now. Gotcha. Uh, I gotta say, I was surprised when I came in here how messy this main room was. So, do you have like a second janitorial staff or something? Uh, there's one for the bathroom and the kitchen, but not out here. Then what? Things are just left like this? That's your first duty, buckaroo. I thought I was only doing security. Yeah, well, until that backup generator kicks on at midnight, you're responsible for wiping down the chairs and tables and sweeping and mopping the rest of the building. They didn't say any of that in the advertising. Yeah, because no one likes doing it. Suck it up, Buttercup. First two hours of your shift are going to be cleaning up birthday party garbage. And, uh, speaking of which, it's time for me to get out of here and for you to clock on. Sayonara, Black Hole Mike.
same stuff. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. We are here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here. We couldn't be more thrilled that you've chosen to pursue this exciting career path with our company. Due to this current Freddy Fazbear's Pizza franchise operating on a smaller budget compared to some of its discontinued sibling locations, we at Fazbear Entertainment Incorporated have never seen a need for nighttime security guards. But Fazbear Entertainment has made the executive decision to readmit nightly security guards into our determined team of professionals working to make the citizens of our fair city smile and sing along with Freddy and his friends. And speaking of Freddy and friends, why don't I introduce you to the band before we discuss your responsibilities as night guard? First we have Bonnie. This purple rabbit is the band's lead guitarist. Believe it or not, Bonnie is actually based upon an older character that debuted all the way back in 1978 with the original Fred Bear's Family Diner. Though Spring Bonnie may not be a part of our cast of fun characters anymore, Bonnie more than fills in for his predecessor with his radical guitar solos. Good old Spring Bonnie. Next we have Chica. This chick is the life of the party. Though on stage she rocks at her keyboard, off stage, she's always on the prowl for pizza. He may be a bit of a recluse, but we can't forget about our pal Foxy. This sea wolf resides alone over in Pirate's Cove. Though he's good friends with the members of the Fazbear Band, legend has it that this sea captain stays secluded to be sure no one finds his secret stash of pirate booty. Nice to see you again, pal. And last but most certainly not least, the lead singer of the Fazbear Band himself, Freddy Fazbear. This merry bear leads his animal friends in fun-filled rock concerts day in and day out, bringing smiles to kids and parents for almost 15 years. Like Bonnie, Freddy is also based on an older counterpart originally from Fred Bear's family diner, the titular Fred Bear himself. People loved Freddy so much that we promoted him to Fred Bear's official successor. I guess that's one way of putting it. Freddy and his friends have entertained audiences of all ages for more than a generation, and you're here to keep them and our restaurant safe. We're so glad you're up to the task. Our current animatronic characters are retrofitted from previous Freddy Fazbear's Pizza locations. Because of this, they have their own little quirks when it comes to how they behave. As your first duty, be sure to very carefully remove the prop instruments from the stage and place them in the backstage storage room at the beginning of your shift. Be sure not to come into contact with the animatronics. Freddy and friends used to be able to wander around during the daytime, and though they now permanently reside on stage during the day, since our engineers never gave them a proper night mode, there's a chance they may wander around after hours, and we wouldn't want their instruments being damaged. Wait. They move around at night? While the cameras situated around the restaurant are meant primarily for capturing any possible suspicious behavior inside the establishment, they could also assist you in making sure Freddy and friends don't stray too far from their intended locations. However, in the event that any animatronics do move from their place on stage, for your own safety, do not engage them. Each animatronic endoskeleton beneath those fuzzy costumes weighs upwards of 500 pounds and are lined with sensitive and sharp spring-locking mechanisms that should only be handled by certified personnel. If any animatronic characters happen to be near your person for whatever reason, take proper precautions to protect yourself from any injuries. We are so happy to have you on the Fazbear Entertainment team, and we can't wait to see the great things you'll achieve. Good luck out there, and be sure to turn this tape around tomorrow to hear even more advice to get you through your first week on the job. Have a good night. Thanks, company man. That their entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering the damage or death to any employee has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as the property or premises has been thoroughly cleaned and leashed and the carpet has been replaced. Very classy, Fazbear Incorporated. Hello? Oh, hello? Is this recording? Yes? Yes, it is. Hi, hello. I I'm Jonathan. Jonathan? The other night guard? Okay, so my guess is that you just had to sit through this awful training tape like I just did. And for some stupid reason, the higher-ups thought it was a good idea to spread out all the info you need over five nights worth of tapes? Why would you ever do that? Just put it all on one tape. 
there's still a ton of free tape on this thing. So uh, I wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. I worked in this office before you. I started working here as a night guard in July of 1993. I don't know how long they'll be using these tapes since they might be going out of business soon. Plus, well, you know, CDs are the way of the future. But whenever you're starting here, maybe you can record a little introductory blurb about yourself in the free space on this tape, too. I always loved the robot characters when I was a kid, especially Spring Bonnie and Fredbear. I was so sad when they got discontinued after that bite in 1983. But that's why I wanted to work here. I love the robots. Maybe someday I'll even be able to find out whatever happened to the old characters after they were retired. Maybe it's wishful thinking, but hey, you never know, I guess. And that's a little about me. I hope the job treats you well, and you can start your introduction right now. My name is Michael App Schmidt. Uh, I started working here in July of 1993 too. Um, Jonathan went missing four days ago. But I'm gonna find him somehow. Singer Scott, 46, mother of Jonathan, told us that one of the last things the boy mentioned before going into work that night, his disappearance, was that the animatronic characters were a lot crazier to work with than expected. Are there more articles like this out there?
I'm gonna find you, Jonathan. Welcome to your second night at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. We told you your first shift would be a breeze. You're a natural. Even though you've more than likely already mastered most of your duties, we wanted to emphasize a key detail we didn't mention last night. In looking at the various security cameras around the premises, you may have noticed there are a couple blind spots that don't fall within the camera's view. And those blind spots happen to be right outside of the security office doors. In the unlikely instance that any animatronic characters happen to wander towards your office and you can't seem to find them on the camera monitors, be sure to flash the hallway lights and check if they're nearby. If necessary, close those office doors to keep yourself from coming into contact with any of their dangerous and expensive animatronic parts. We here at Fazbear Entertainment wish you the best of luck during the rest of your second shift. Be sure to listen to our next tape tomorrow night to keep advancing your training. Good luck out there! That's it? What's the point of giving a single point of clarification its own tape? Hey, well, if you're hearing this, you made it to day two. Uh, congrats. Um, originally I was just going to do my little intro for the first night side of this tape, but, like, Tonight's side had all of a minute of information, and there's still 29 minutes left on this side of the tape, so I, I thought I might as well fill in some of that unused time. Seriously, one minute of info that could have just been included in last night's training? What's the point of giving a single point of clarification its own tape? So, uh, how are you doing? How's your second night treating you? I'm a couple hours into my shift, and I've got to give tonight's tape a little bit of credit. The door light trick is pretty helpful. The characters are wandering around a little tonight. I didn't notice almost any movement last night. A few minutes ago, I couldn't find Bonnie on the cameras, so I flashed my light and he was right outside my door. Kind of freaked me out for a second. You know, it's too bad this place only does birthday parties anymore. I remember when the Freddy's places used to be packed with people, all ages, all hours of the day. That was so much more fun. Kids running around, playing arcade games, and eating pizza. Crazy. The parents off doing their own thing. I made so many day-long friendships there as a kid. Now they don't even have the games anymore, just the animatronics. And, like, don't get me wrong, I love the characters, but what fun is there in scheduling a birthday party only to watch them sing? It's no wonder we're losing business to Funky Cheese. Man, they really did pick you guys clean. I still think we've got them beat in terms of mascots, though. Like, does anyone even remember any of the mascot names of Funky Cheese other than Funky? Freddy's is simple. I mean, maybe it's just my nostalgia talking, but I think it's pretty hard to forget the names of the Fazbear cast. They're easy, and more importantly, marketable. Freddy Fazbear. It just has a nice ring to it. Speaking of Freddy, I think he's camera shy or something. He just disappears and I can't find him anywhere. I don't know. Maybe I'm just paranoid. I guess it can get a little creepy here at night. But I should probably get back to watching the cameras. Yeah. <laughs> that might be a good idea. Anyways, Godspeed out there tonight, huh? I'm sure you have everything under control. Uh, maybe I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, Jonathan. God, I hope you're doing okay. What was that? Did one of the robots hit a wall?
Yeah, that's still pretty high. <laughs> right, camera shy. He's gone? Weird. <laughs> Whatever. Electronics were a lot crazier than expected. His mom. Ah, uh, hi, uh, Miss Helsinger Scott. Oh, uh, no, no, I don't have any tips. I'm sorry. Um, actually, I was uh, wondering if I could maybe stop by and ask you a couple of questions. Uh, Miss Helsinger Scott? No! What? Go away. We're not dropping our case against you. What are you talking about? I know you had something to do with it. All those other disappearances? I know those weren't a coincidence. Just uh, go away. No, no, Miss Scott. I, I, we spoke on the phone. I, I'm Mike. Uh, I, I just took the place of your son, uh, Jonathan. Uh, I was looking into his case. I'm not a representative from the company. Uh, I, I feel like I'm in a very unique position to help. Are you some kind of a private investigator? No, ma'am. I'm just a friend trying to help. Okay. He's such a sweet boy. You know, when he was nine, he got stung by a bee. Even though it hurt so bad, you know, he knew that bees die usually after they sting somebody. I want you to know that boy was outside for the next hour trying to find that bee so he could help it. I just don't understand. How he could disappear out of nowhere. I, I'm so sorry, Miss Helsinger Scott. I, he seems like a really nice guy. Oh, please, just call me Nancy. Um, would you like something to drink? Um, my next door neighbor brought over some lemonade earlier. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. You mentioned you were a friend of his. Well, how do you know Jonathan? Well, if I'm being honest, I don't really know him that well personally, but once I found out what happened, I wanted to look into things a little bit more. Oh, you don't know him at all? Uh, not really, but the more I look into things, the more I think maybe we could have really gotten along. Why do you think that is? I mean, why would you get along well with him? Uh, he seems like a really nice guy. Uh, just seems like we've got a lot in common. That's really nice to hear. I mean, he really doesn't have many friends. I think people just haven't had a chance to get to know John. He's such a great kid. On the tapes at work, he mentioned how many times he'd go to Freddy's when he was a kid. Uh, and he also talked about how many day-long friends he made there. I don't know, maybe we bumped into each other a few times there. He used to love it so much. Maybe he felt like he fit in there or something. 
He loved Fred Bear's Family Diner. You know, even after they closed because of all that controversy and everything, I still took him to all the restaurants because he loved them so much. That's why he always wanted to work there. He just finally wanted to be a part of the team. Yeah. Speaking of which, I'll be right back. Spring Bonnie was always his favorite. He hated it when they retired him when Fred Bears closed. Me too. I'm really sorry for John's sake. Oh, no need to apologize. It's not like it was your fault. I had a little brother, Evan. Fred Bear was always his favorite because he reminded him of a little teddy bear he had when he was a kid. He loved that restaurant. But I was jealous because he kept getting all the attention from our dad. So one day I took him to the restaurant on his ninth birthday. He was crying and I decided to bring him up there to give Fred Bear a big old kiss. I didn't know the animatronics would act weird to water. It's all my fault. But then they closed down Fred Bears and decommissioned Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie to stop bad publicity. I mean, I didn't know that that would happen. I mean, no one blamed me. I was a kid too. But I would do anything to have him back. So, I'm gonna do whatever I can to help Jonathan. <laughs> because what else can I do? Find him. Welcome back to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. We told you you wouldn't have any problems. Being a nighttime security guard can be a very taxing job. Most people move on to other things by now, but you're doing a great job so far. Tonight we'd like to give you another tip to help you out in the event that you come into contact with a wandering animatronic. In the improbable scenario that one of the characters makes its way into your office, try playing dead. Staying absolutely still should prevent the character from causing any bodily harm to you, and you from causing any animatronic damage to it. Play dead? Jesus, this is beginning to be too much. We'll keep things short tonight. We know you know what you're doing, and we certainly wouldn't want to distract you from fulfilling your duties. Fazbear Entertainment thanks you for your hard work and wishes you all the best. Hey there, future guard. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep it short tonight, cause, um, things are starting to get real. What the hell? Where's Freddy? Like, no one is on stage anymore. I can't even find everyone. I've only been here for an hour, and one of them is already right outside my door. I don't know. Maybe I'm just creeping myself out. I mean, they're just robots, obviously. But something feels off. Like, I don't feel like I'm here alone anymore. 
listen to me. None of that makes any sense. It, it's probably nothing. I should probably get going. I really need to be watching my power and stuff. Man, I just wanted to find out whatever happened to Fred Baron Spring Bonnie. This really isn't the kind of job I thought it would be. Oh well, I guess the only way to find out is to keep going. Well, I guess I'll leave you to it for tonight. See you on the flip side. That should be okay. What is this? Holy shit! Where's Foxy? What happened to the power? What the hell is going on? Hello? It's me. It's me. Jonathan? Is that you? Help me. Please. Wait, wait, Jonathan, where are you? Can, can you just tell me where you are? I'm here. It's me. I'm here. What do you mean? No, 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 no! Where are you? We still have an hour left till the power comes back on. Let me leave. I'm coming. Mike, what the hell are you doing here? It's 7 a.m. I just got off work. From your illustrious job at Fred Bear Industries? It's Freddy's. All oh, right. Fred Bear, my star creation, is no longer around anymore, no thanks to you. Look, if it's about Evan, I didn't mean... In fact, why are you even here? Was this visit so important you had to wake me up for it? What is going on with them? With what? Could you be a bit more specific? I think you know what I mean. What about them? Why are they moving around at night? I, 
They don't even do that during the day anymore. They've always done that. Their servos will lock up if they sit in one place for too long. Well, that doesn't explain why they prey on the night guards. Sure it does. They probably think you're a naked endoskeleton. And since they're programmed to know that all skeletons should be in costumes, they're presumably seeking you out to stuff you into a spare costume. Then why don't they do the same things to the workers or even the customers? If they don't have a given night mode, then you're implying they do the same thing during the day. But they don't. They basically do nothing but just sit there and be fuzzy, friendly robots. Well, obviously they're programmed to discern the difference between children and adults. Why do you think the animatronics would feel the need to stuff a kid into a costume when they're nowhere near the right size of their endoskeleton? Then what about the other employees, or, or, or the parents of the kids? If two or more approximately endoskeleton-sized individuals were in their line of view, they're programmed to know whether those individuals were employees or customers. What is this? The goddamn Terminator? Either you, my dad, living in the middle of podunk nowhere, or the greatest animatronic engineer in the world, or that doesn't make any sense. Because that sounds like some future tech that doesn't even exist right now. And think what you want, Mike. As the person who literally built and programmed most of the original characters, that makes perfect sense to me. See, you say that, but... I think you know more than you're letting on. What do you mean by that, son? Something happened to them. W what did you do to them? Fazbear Entertainment was a cultural phenomenon. At least locally, it was. You, you never had to compete with show business or, or funky cheese. And, and you know why? Because Fazbear and friends were special. They meant a lot to people. Y you made a positive influence. But, but but then you 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 changed, you changed something, you did something. I know you did. You should watch your words more carefully, boy. What about all those people who went missing, or, or died in the hands of Fazbear Entertainment? You just think those were all coincidences? I know what you're trying to do, and this conversation is over, and you're leaving, and I don't ever want to see you here again. Wait, Dad. Whatever happened to Fredbear and Spring Bonnie? They were discontinued. Thrown away. I haven't seen them since Fredbear's family diner closed down. Why the hell would I want to? One of them murdered the only decent son I had. You're always my favorite. But why didn't she do anything to me last night? Hey everybody, it's me, Freddy Fazbear. 
And we're celebrating Hi. special... Hi, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Do you have a reservation? Oh, no, I just... Oh, so I do hate to be the bearer of bad news, but all of our customers do have to RSVP in advance to get a table. We are a little booked up right now, but if you'd like to call our main office, we could get you penciled in as soon as we eat. There's like four people here. Um, I, I, I work here. Uh, I was just wondering if I could take you up on that free pizza offer. Uh, yeah, cool, dude. You want a whole ass pizza or like a couple slices? Uh, I'll, I'll take. Uh, Actually, no, scratch that. We only do whole pizzas. What am I talking about? What do you want on it? Uh, pe pepperoni's fine. Mm, gotcha. Oh, hey, remember, you get the pizza for free, but not the drink, so it's coming out of your paycheck one way or another. What do you say, gang? Here's your drink, man. Thanks. It's the Freddy Fast Party. 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 And it's good to see you. It's your big day. It's all about you. And there's nothing in this world that you can't do. We're here to help all of us here just to make you smile from here too. Thank you for coming here. Thank you enough to spend your time here with our marshmallow. One last thing to sing along for Freddie Bass birthday. What's your deal? Hey. Um, yeah? Do you know when Foxy will work again? He's my favorite. Oh, my, mine too, but, uh... I'm not sure when he'll be up and running again. Oh. We've just got to figure out what's wrong with him. Okay. You should get back there with your friends. Alright. Jeez, you really are a light sleeper. And you really don't understand that I like being alone. Isn't that right, Black Hole Mike? Look, I get that you don't care for me much for no it's reason. It's not for no reason. You've woken me up on the clock twice now. I think that's reason enough. Okay, I, I, I got some pizza. Uh, since I don't think I can eat the whole thing by myself, I was thinking that maybe, I don't know, you wanted a couple slices? I guess I'm not getting back to sleep anytime soon. Hold on, everybody. There will be plenty to go around. But Sharing the pie, swapping stories, and wasting time. Yeah, something like that. You mind if I join you? You're on the clock. And yeah, so are you. Who the hell's watching? Uh, yeah, pull up chair. So are you new here, security man? Haven't seen you around. Yeah, started this week. How are you liking it? Being honest, they're kind of freaky. Yeah, you get used to it. What's that supposed to mean? It's the animatronics, right? The uncanny valley. They're not super cute, but they're not super creepy, so your brain doesn't really know how to feel about them. But you get used to it. Yeah, I mean, they're just robots at the end of the day, you know? But it just feels like that they're always thinking something. They're just robots, Mike. Okay, but do they do anything during the day? Like, do they get up and walk around? I don't even think they can move. Don't they weigh, like, a thousand pounds? Pretty sure they're just bolted to the floor. I watch the cameras all day. They don't move. No, you don't. 
You sleep all day. Look, I appreciate the pizza offer, but I could get up and leave at any time. Okay, but like, what about Foxy? Like, he's all torn up. Like, wh why is Pirate's Cove out of commission? Sounds like you just answered your own question, bud. No, but, but I think he works just fine. Like, I heard a song coming from the cove last night. Right. Bullshit. I, there's got to be something that's keeping him in there during the day. Like, he's way more aggressive at night, but also not at the same time. I, I don't know. Sounds like you need to spend some more time outside of the workplace. This dude is writing fan fiction about these robots. I just think that they're more than animatronics. What do you mean? I don't know. There's more to them somehow. Like... There's something about them. Well, this has been an amazing little confab, but I think I need to be getting back to my post. Yeah, uh, Rick turns over and I need to go check on those cameras. Black Hole Mike? Don't do anything stupid. Maybe they want help. But why? Hold on, everybody. There will be plenty to go around. But first, we gotta sing the rest of our song. So come meet Freddy and Foxy and Bonnie and Chica. Everyone here is so happy to meet. Everybody, uh, you realize I'm on your side, right? I mean, I'm gonna find Jonathan, but I just want to help you guys too. I just want to help you guys, you know, right? That's what I'm here for. But, but don't you get that? Just talking to a bunch of robots. I just want to help. your fourth night shift at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. We don't have any more tips for you tonight, other than to be sure to keep checking those cameras and door lights. More than anything, we just wanted to thank you for what a wonderful job you've been doing. By tomorrow night, you'll have made it through one full work week at our establishment, and we can't thank you enough for your hard work and dedication. Be sure to check in with us again tomorrow night for one last parting message before we confidently send you out on your own. Good luck out there. Hey, future guard. You made it to night four. But I tell you, I need to do it. So, um, listen, I may not be around to leave you a message tomorrow night. I'm almost out of power. It's barely three in the morning. They've been running to the office all night. I, I had to keep the doors closed. I had no other choice. They're after me. I, I, I don't know why. I don't know what's going to happen. Why is this happening to me? What did I do wrong? I'm still going to try to hold out. Maybe it won't be so bad. Find me.
clearly do not want help. What? What is this? It, this has to be some kind of nightmare. It, this isn't real. Be letting me out yet. But I'm not going down without a fight. Come at me. I've been doing so good. Please no. Please no. Please no. Please no. Congratulations! You've made it to the final night of your first week at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. We're so proud of all you've accomplished thus far, and we can't wait to work with you more in the future. You're making the kind of difference we like seeing in our company. We'll always be here for you, and we here at Fazbear Entertainment wish you the best of luck in your job performance going forward. We'll see you out on the party floor someday. No. 
No, that 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 can't be it. That What What was the sound on the tape last night? Find me. Sorry, Jonathan. I don't get it. What was that sound? What the hell is that? I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. Jesus Christ, I can't do this anymore. I, I can't. Let me just... Don't! Please don't. It's stuck on me and it won't come off. Uh, okay, uh, uh can, can you move? 
no. Okay, okay, hold on. Something's happening. I, I, I don't know who, I don't know how, but someone is messing with us. They're watching us. What's going on? Come on, buddy, come on. My name is Michael Afton. They're alive. Okay? They're alive, and they're after me, just like they were with Jonathan. Look, this is all real, okay? I, I don't know what else to do next. I'm so sorry I couldn't do more. Evening, Michael. Dad, what, what are you doing here? I'm your brother. But how do you, wait, how do you know? He's inside one, isn't he? Just like the other kids. The other kids? How, how do you, wait, you did it? All, all of those missing kids? That, that were never found? It was you? You killed them? You stuffed them inside suits? Bravo, Michael. You finally put it all together. 
It might have taken you a while, but I've got to give you props. You eventually got there. One of the only ones, too. See, Mike, whether you believe me or not, there is no better feeling in the world than watching the life fade from someone's eyes. I was running a business. A magical place where kids and adults alike could have fantasy and fun come to life. And that business brought in a lot of foot traffic, too. You don't think that I wouldn't take advantage of that every now and then, do you? And I did. And it was amazing. You know what the best part about killing somebody is? They don't come back. Then you get to sleep peacefully at night knowing that you personally ended someone's entire existence. But you know what I don't understand? Is how the hell you and those things in there are still alive. You remember that time you interned for me at one of my side businesses a couple of years back? I'm speaking to you, son. Oh, uh, n no. I, 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 I don't remember. Now that's a surprise. You should be dead. I tried to have you killed, just as you did your brother. Yet, here you are, living, breathing, and as annoying as ever. You've done a good thing tonight, saving that boy. He truly was an innocent in all this, not deserving what he got. But... You murdered the one thing in this life that I loved the most. And that is something that I cannot forgive you for. I've already tried killing you once. Now get the fuck out of here before I try doing it again. He's gonna be okay. This is uh, a really small hospital. <laughs> it's not one. It's a glorified urgent care. That's all it would take us. <laughs> Wait, what? Why? Well, Apparently, there's a clause in Johnny's contract that says that he can't go to any hospital nearby for any kind of an injury on the job. How the hell is that legal? I don't know, but they keep getting away with this stuff. <sighs> this has to end. But, why didn't they attack me last night? Their souls are still trapped in there. What are you doing? I've got to go back there. Why? Jonathan isn't the only one still suffering at the hands of Fazbear Entertainment. But what are you going to do? I don't know. But I've got to help them. I don't know. He's gonna to have to pick up his phone eventually. Where have you been? We've been calling your phone all morning. Wait, what happened here? 
like you need to ask. Why did you do this? Yeah, I told you that we were going out of business soon, but I was hoping to go out with Grace. But what the hell is all this? We know you did it, Black Hole Mike. Even if you say you didn't, you still let it happen on your watch. And these two told me that you were having delusions that the characters were coming to life. <laughs> sure, they move around at night, but... Wait, really? Hold on, you never mentioned that. Imagine my shock when I came in to collect last night's tapes to see all this destruction. Why did you cut out all the lights and leave the, the cameras rolling? You incriminated yourself. Wait. You saw the footage from last night's tapes? Yes. And I saw and then, the- then, then you saw the secret room. I found Jonathan. Secret room? Who's Jonathan and what secret room? The old night guard. He was in here. I found him. This is a secret room. It, it's a door. Michael, that's a wall. No, that's just a wall. No, 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 no. It, it, it's a secret room. Here, look at the indentation on the floor. Here, I can show you. Michael. Michael. There's a door here. It opens and you know it. Mr. Afton. I know what I saw. And not only did I hear you senselessly destroy our beloved expensive animatronic characters, but you confess to it yourself. And not only that, but you use your real last name to do so and to take credit for it. We never really wanted anything to do with you people again. Whatever your family goes, trouble follows. You seem like such a respectable young man. But I found Jonathan. If you saw the tapes from last night, then, then you know. You, you know what I'm talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. If I were you, I would go and get your shit and get out. Leave now and maybe, just maybe, I won't press charges. Oh, and uh, one word of advice. Take more showers. I smell like shit. Mr. Emily? There's an indentation on the floor here. It looks like it could have been made by this big door. Yeah, it sort of does. Could there actually be a secret room? If either of you ever mention what you've heard or seen today outside of these walls, I'll sue both of you for defamation. Oh, my savior. The one and only. Oh, come on. Don't give me a name like that. Well, it's true, isn't it? Yes, it is. I am so grateful. Thank you so much. Oh, honey, I'm going to go get a nurse. Okay. Thanks, Mom. Hey there. Hey. Nice to meet you a bit more officially, Mr. Guardian Angel. Hey, I told you not to call me that. Well, what else am I supposed to call you? I didn't really catch your name last night. I was kind of out of it. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, here. I'm Michael. Jonathan. It's <laughs> nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, what's that you've got hiding behind your back? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Uh, well, I mean, you already technically had it. Your mom just gave it to me uh, to help me get through. Come on, this is uh, killing me. I don't know if it's good to give it to you, given the circumstances. 
But I think I've got the backbone to handle it. I was stuck in a costume that impaled me with robot parts whenever I moved for a week and a half. I think I can handle it. That's the thing, it's... It's involving that. Well, let's see it. <sighs> Springy. Yeah, uh, he helped me get through a few nights on the shift. Uh, and he helped motivate me to keep finding you, so... I'm surprised you even want to see him still. Well, this spring bonnie's been my pal for almost 15 years. I can't just let him go out of nowhere. Yeah, you did say he was always your favorite. Oh, yeah, him and Fred Bear by a long shot. Yeah, I was always partial to Foxy. He was a good one, too. He was up there. Yeah, you, even, even the worst Freddy's characters weren't even as bad as those funky cheese ones. Right? The Fazbear Gang is just so much more memorable. Like, they even had those weird ones, too. Like, you remember, like, at the big restaurant, there was that Balloon Boy one, and there was that puppet thing. <laughs> yeah. I haven't thought about that place in years. Yeah. Good memories. I should be dead right now. Because of those stupid animatronics. But I... I don't know. Maybe it's just my nostalgia talking or something, but... I, I just can't bring myself to hate Fred Bear or Spring Bonnie. I know that doesn't make sense, but... Yeah, no, they... They definitely had a big impact on people. Yeah, they did. It's just going to be hard thinking of them that way moving on. Yeah. But at least they can still live on in our memories, right? Yeah, they sure can. I am so glad that you're okay. Me too. And that's all owed to you, Guardian Angel Mike. Hey, uh, look, I gotta go do something, but, uh, I'll, I'll be back for you, okay? I'll be waiting here, my friend. I still remember it like it was yesterday. It was a Saturday morning. When you, after I, when they had you in the hospital on oxygen, before they pulled the plug, I tried talking to you. I never knew if you heard me. I don't know if you can even hear me now, but I hope you can. I didn't sleep for weeks after it happened. There isn't a day that goes by where I don't wish I could go back and change things. It's hard to believe that it was me who did it. But it was. I hate myself. And I'll have to live with that. But I'm not here asking for forgiveness. I know it doesn't matter how many times I say it. But Evan... I'm sorry. Evan? Evan? Hi, Mike. All you guys ever wanted was to get out, to be put to rest. I wish I'd known. I wish I could have done more for the others. They're okay now. What about you? I'm okay now, too. I'm so sorry, Evan. I know. 
You did it. You helped us. Now it's up to you to figure out what you'd do next. So don't be sad, okay? Okay. Goodbye, buddy. Bye, brother. Oh, I almost forgot. Fred Rogers once said, when he was a boy and would see scary things in the news, his mother would tell him, look for the helpers. You'll always find people who are helping. And I like that. Everybody, it's me, Freddy Fazbear, and we're celebrating a special day for someone out there in the party room. You know what? That sounds like fun. A party! Chica's here, Bonnie too, and we can't forget our friend Foxy. Say hi, everybody! Hi! And we have a special song for your big day. So come meet Freddy and Foxy and Bonnie and Chica. Everyone here's so happy to meet ya, so come grab a seat, don't forget pizza, and we really hope this party will please you. It's the Freddy Fast Party, 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 and it's good to see you. To celebrate your big day, we should ask your parents to buy all the pizza you can eat. What do you say, gang? Yeah! But don't tell your parents I said that. I love pizza! If you get some, could you give some to me? It's my birthday, too. Mine, too. Hold on, everybody. There will be plenty to go around. But first, we gotta sing the rest of our song. 